but they're really cumbersome. And so uh, the other issue with a rocket pack, like you have that Boba Fett or the Mandalorian wears, is you could really roast your buttocks. And uh, you, don't, you don't really want a rocket pack. Uh, you want some type of flight pack, but not a not a rocket pack, really. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't sound comfortable at all. Is so, this kind of like, can this also be like a Faraday cage in a way? I've heard that suits of armor were once Faraday cages. I think there's really too many gaps and holes in it um, to do that because uh, you, you have right. like, a, you know, you have a body stocking underneath more or less. And, uh, and then, the, you know, and there's, there's some elements. I mean, when you really dig into it, the, the costume armor depicted that, that is worn in, in the Mandalorian isn't exactly like you would fit a real body armor. Um, right. And yeah. it's, you know, as as you study what they they do in the show and the series, there's there's a big difference. But what we're trying to do is really have an integrated system, and we we've already designed uh, some of the early suits. We we did that over the years, and so that's yeah. uh, that's a lot of fun. And and uh, we don't advertise it too much, except in our our marketing literature for defense purposes. But as Great. fighter planes come out, um, one of the 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 big elements of next generation fighters is helmet mounted display systems uh and and helmet mounted displays that actually allow you to move your head around and eject without and that's a yeah. big problem because a lot of the the helmets that are out have had some you know serious issues with respect to whether or not a pilot can survive ejection and not get their their neck broken oh. so so those are all important aspects 